as we celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. We're highlighting a new marketplace, bringing Latin culture to a neighborhood near you. Yeah, it's the brainchild of Annette Vasquez, who moved to Columbus four years ago. And just months into its inception, NBC4's Matt Barnes learned it's opening eyes and doors that may have been previously closed. It's very important to, to, to know where you come from, to get your culture, especially for our kids, the next generation. Annette Vasquez is a woman on a mission, a mission to bring more of her Latin day heritage and culture to Central Ohio. When I used to go to Mexico, we would go to La Plaza which would be, or El Mercadito, which is you go, it's full of color, full of life, full of music. Everybody there just like small entrepreneurs doing their own thing and just, you know, with a smile on their face. And I wanted to bring some of that, which is what is, what is I feel like the main, main thing of El Mercadito is like making it feel like home. So Annette went to work creating a Mercadito, Spanish for the little market, taking it all over the city of Columbus. I like to speak Spanish. I like to play my reggaeton or my cumbias or whatnot and, and have my kids stir with me because I need to make sure that my kids know what it's like, what I'm, what I'm working for, what I, what I do at my job. And so when I came up with this idea of like, you know what, I'm going to do my own market. Along with her flower shop, Flower Daisy, Hispanic vendors are now able to showcase their small businesses in a comfortable setting. But more importantly, it provides a place for people of all backgrounds to gather and immerse themselves into the vibrant Latin A culture. That's what I want the Mercadito to be like. You know, I want people to come and come shop but not come and shop just to, to shop. I want them to learn about the culture. I want them to feel at home and welcomed and just, you know, it just be inclusive into us. The next Mercadito is October 23rd. It will be in German Village at the Stewart Elementary parking lot from noon until six. And just like the Mercadito this past week, they will be accepting clothing donations for One Divine Line to Help, a nonprofit organization that helps survivors of sex trafficking. For more information on how you can become a vendor, head to NBC4i.com. Local for you, I'm Matt Barnes, NBC4.